as we have covered everything so far majority of the thing that is needed we have covered them and we have also learned how to collect an input from a user and to also display the input the user have entered so in this video i'm going to be showing you how we can build a basic calculator so the functions of this basic calculator is that it will be able to collect two numbers from a user and join them together then gives the user the the output so as time goes on i will also build a more advanced calculator we need to cover some things that is needed to build that advanced calculator that is why we are not doing it now so after covering those things in the next video or maybe two to three videos to come i will i'm going to be showing you how we are going to be building a more advanced calculator so let's get rid of this and uh, let's not forget to import first of all we import that that mat the second one we import that io So these first ones allows us to allows the computer we try we are trying to import this library so it's just like a collection of codes that can be able to do some mathematical stuff that that we are doing here and this one like i said earlier is for we to be able to to tell the computer to collect inputs from user so it's called that io is called that input output why the first one is that math so without wasting much of our time let's proceed so we come down to our men our void men so first of all what are we trying to do we are trying to collect an input from a user first of all we are going to register a, a string which we are going to call so we are going to print a string which is going to tell the user to enter a first number so first of all i will start by writing print enter first number and i'll add my semicolon then at the bottom we'll try to allow the user to input something which i'll start by typing standard input which is stdin dot read line sync I'm sorry, let's not forget that we are trying to collect an input from a user. So, this will come later. So, first of all, the type of input we are collecting from a user is an integer, which is number. So, we'll say int. Then we'll give it name. Let's say num1. Num1 equal to. Then, here, we will allow the user to input whatever they want to input. So, we can say std i n dot read oh, oh sorry about that i'm rushing <laughs> i don't need to rush so i will since it's an integer input that one from user so we'll see int equal int number one equal to then we'll come int dot pass int dot pass open and close parentheses then inside here we will now enter the standard input stdin dot read line sync which I have here then open and close parentheses then here we can add our no check no safety check which is this then here we can add our semicolon so after this we are going to be telling the user to enter the second number 
so i'll just quickly copy this i'll come here and i'll paste this and i'll change this to second so we are trying to take the number the user to enter second second number so i'll still have to copy this again i'll come here and when i go down here i'll have to print this and i'll change this to num2 so what are we trying to do now once the user we have told the user to enter first number once they enter the first number the first number will be stored in this with this variable so whatever they typed will be stored here and the same thing goes to this whatever they type in the second number will will be here so what are we trying what are we going to do now after collecting the input from the user so we can just do something like this we can now print we will now print the output sorry we will now print the output we can come here and say print num1 plus num2 then we enter our semicolon so after collecting these two inputs from a user we will now command the computer to print the two inputs the user have entered so let's run this code and see so it say enter first number i will say 20 enter second number i will say 40. so when i hit enter we should get the output which is 60. so that is our output this is just the basic calculator so as time goes on as we are following me on the step by step we are going to learn how we can be able to do a more advanced calculator thank you for your time See you in the next video.